don't grade your life based on other people's experiences their experience is based on how much of god they know and how much of god they apply thank god for them learn from them don't despise them learn from them but don't limit your destiny don't peg your destiny at another person's experience yes it may take somebody else 20 years nobody says it won't take me six months if the hand of god comes upon you you can outrun the chariots of ahab he can outrun see and god comes upon your life one focus you must have is speed and this is why you cannot carry unnecessary weight they tell you somebody spoke about you ignore them oh they are gossiping somebody here leave them alone they are besetting sin they are weight when you are moving on high speed you don't need weight go and look at the atlas they wear very tight wears because weight is not a friend of one who moves at high speed so you can't carry weight they are gossiping people leave them they are backbiting people leave them they are attacking you leave them be focused speed require focus so that you don't take a wrong direction because if you're in the wrong direction speed is not an advantage so you will need focus in order to stay in the right direction and to maximize the hand of god that's why some of us who are on very high frequency we are careful of our association because we cannot be the reason why we go in the wrong direction or we slow ourselves down you know what the bible said he said when the spirit comes upon you they that wait upon the lord he said they mount up with wings like the eagles you don't know you have wings until the hand of god comes upon you biology told you that you have two legs wait until your spiritual dimension appear that's when you will know that you don't only have two legs you also have wings the wings come alive when the hand of god comes upon you and he said when you mount up you mount up like the eagle you go high and you go fast at the same time because of the hand of god the hand of god sponsors speed i don't know who i'm talking to tonight but that stagnation in your life has just broken